Okay, so hey guys, Anthony Kai here, and today we are going to be reacting to what I packed into my labor bag, and I'm going to tell you um, what I used and what I didn't use. Everyone has a go going home outfit for your dog for your child. I'm having a daughter. Um, I'm packing two just in case because I don't know how big she's going to be. She's measuring big. Um, she's measuring big in all of her ultrasounds. So, I have two outfits. I have this one, a little rose onesie that I think is absolutely the most adorable thing ever. There's a part of me that goes, I could pick a bow and put a bow on her head too, but I don't really want to do that for a brand newborn either. So, I, I don't quite know if I'm going to be bowing up her head. Probably not, just because I think they send them home with a hat anyway. Um, they used to anyway when I was a kid. I, they did. Obviously, I'm not savvy in the baby world, but I also got a three to six month or a zero to three month outfit just in case she does she's too big for that. And that is so we actually ended up using a um, different Harry Potter themed one. It's a uh, oh, it's like gray and it's got this little silvery tutu thing and it's got the Hogwarts crest on it, but it's really pretty. Um, I actually ended up using both of those, so she fit into newborn outfits when she was born, um, but we brought her home in a zero to three month outfit anyway. So the little floral one we used at the hospital, yes we did, and then we brought her home in the one that was too big for her. Little Hogwarts onesie! Does that surprise anyone that I would bring my daughter home in a Hogwarts onesie? I don't think so. Um, and then for me, while I'm at the hospital, or maybe I'll show my go home outfit first. My going home outfit is pretty simple. Uh, nursing bra. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone wants to see that. There's a nursing bra that, uh, it's a little bit more, um, will feel more like a binder. I mean, it, obviously it's not going to feel like a binder. I'm actually wearing one right now. It's, but it's going to be closer to a binder feeling than like other bras. That's this. Make it feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, so that's in the bag, the nursing bra. Um, just some regular sweatpants, just fucking comfy sweatpants because... Every Did I just say swim pants? They're sweatpants. I wore those. They're sweatpants. I, I still wear those. They're very comfortable. Everyone needs some comfy sweatpants. <laughs> well, hello, Mix. Hi, Mix. How's it going? <laughs> the whole world sees you now. Are you excited? You made a debut on, on, on YouTube. I can't remember what platform I was on. My cat's waiting for chill. You're literally only on YouTube. I guess you do TikToks too, but not very often. <laughs> yeah, I wear that too. It's very soft. It says, uh, faith over fear or something like that. And I just thought, you know, it's breezy. It's not like a maternity shirt or anything. It's a shirt that I actually got from Andy, which I am very grateful for because Andy's an angel. I, I don't know if Andy you is an angel. want to see these. If, you got, if you're sensitive to like goopy, goopy stuff, I mean, this isn't goopy, goopy stuff, but it's going to be talking about goopy, goopy stuff. So if you're sensitive about that, you don't want to hear about um, postpartum bleeding and crap. Don't watch this part. But I am bringing some depends, <laughs> belt diapers, and some pads because I've heard that the hospital ones are very uncomfortable. I'm only bringing two because I'm not planning on wearing them during the delivery and they'll give me underwear there. I just want something to go home in and if I don't immediately end up home right afterward, I want a backup and then just some pads because it's gonna be hard. Uh, you can cut. So I actually never used any of the pads in the labor bag. Um, I didn't wear pads until the bleeding slowed down, and it was like a week after I'd been home. But I did wear the hospital the hospital um, underwear, the mesh underwear at the hospital. It wasn't as uncomfortable as you think, and it was fine. And then I just ended up going home in the depends, and that was literally it. So I only used one of the depends, and none of the pads. You can come back now for those of you who are uh, afraid of, of the gore. Um, and then my cologne, deodorant. If I can't feel like a man while giving birth, I will at least smell like a man while giving birth. I... So I used that literally right before I went home because I was meeting uh, Curtis's family <laughs> for the first time. We're right out of the hospital, we're right to breakfast. Um, but no, I didn't use those in the hospital except for literally to go home. Yeah, that's the thing. 
Okay, cool. Um, and then I actually have my hair tied because my hair is long and flip up in a ponytail. And I've been told by a lot of uh, uh, moms, actually, birthing mothers. I haven't actually spoken to anyone who is giving birth that is not a, a woman. Uh, but the, the moms that I have talked to that have given birth, they have mentioned that tying your hair back and just forgetting about it is better than feeling the hair in your face and all the sweat. So I have a hair tie around an extension cord because you don't know how close the outlet is going to be to your bed. Then I have a phone charger. So, um... <laughs> I think I may have used the hair tie once. Uh, I don't tie my hair back as much as I used to, like, at all. I just tend to kind of leave it. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting a haircut. Yeah, I already have a two cents in this, too. Um, but I, I think I might have used it once. I don't think it really, my hair didn't really bother me all that much in the hospital. Um, the extension cord, however, came into a handy quite a bit. My phone. I actually also used a longer, um... So, we we had a 10-foot uh, uh, cable for our phones that we brought instead of that one. And that one was also very helpful. And then, in my little Hufflepuff tin, because who doesn't have a Hufflepuff tin, uh, I have my wireless headphones that, of course, my... Those were amazing. The wireless headphones were awesome. Uh, it made it so I could, like, get in the zone... And listen to music a lot so that was really helpful and then my charger for that which will also hook into the owl or the outlet oh. that'll plug my phone into so I, have to I don't know if i really needed the charger at all for the headphones i don't think they died um but i did enjoy the having the headphones to listen to music uh definitely a uh a uh recommendation for if you're ever gonna give birth uh bring a couple of playlists of music, like have them downloaded onto your phone or an MP3 player or an iPad or whatever it is that you use, um, if you don't have, like, paid for YouTube. Um, and just, because music really did help. Those for, um, because I'm planning on making a playlist for, uh, well, delivering, hopefully, hopefully, or while I'm in labor, um, just having a hoorah play playlist that, uh, We'll be featuring Mulan's I'll Make It Matter You, just as one. The other thing is, um, I have Asperger's. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and for those of you who don't know that, that is a form of being on the autistic spectrum. And I think they actually just call it the autistic spectrum. Oh, or hiccups. Or something like that, I, or just being on the spectrum. I was diagnosed with Asperger's. Um, and whilst I don't like the feeling of socks on my feet, because it, it feels very confined, it's a sensory thing, mm -hmm. I also don't like my feet being bare. Because I have a like sensitivity about my feet because my feet are very small, so I got throwaway shoes so my feet aren't bare while I'm giving birth, but also so I can feel like they're covered. And I used to wear Crocs a lot as a kid. I'm not too. So um. I am the only person at the hospital here that any of the nurses or my midwife has seen delivering Crocs, just as an FYI. Um, so that was really fun to hear. So I did end up using those Crocs. I wore them except for when they had to check my feet. Other than that, I was in the Crocs. I, I don't think I wore them in the jacuzzi, though. Not too sure, like, how happy I'll be about the texture on the inside. They seem fine, and I put them on my feet, and they, they feel fine, so... I'm sure it'll be great, but I'm not wearing anything anywhere other than the hospital, and I'm probably going to end up throwing them away after the hospital, depending on what li liquids get leaked I on them. But that way I'm <laughs> a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then let's talk what I'll be wearing while giving birth. So here's the thing. I don't want to wear a hospital gown, but I also don't just want my coochie. So FYI, I wore a hospital gown to give birth and after giving birth. I was in primarily a hospital gown. Um, those were for if I had decided not to go with an epidural. I ended up getting an epidural, so I was in a hospital gown from the time I had the epidural until after. She just out in the open. So I was talking to my midwife about it, and she said that I could get a like long t-shirts, like the t-shirts that are basically nightgowns, but they look like t-shirts. Um, so I have two here. I'm gonna tell you to fight them because they are a little feminine. I mean, just color-wise. Men, real men wear pink, it's fine. 
Um, and actually, Curtis got them for me, and I was so grateful for them. And they're funny, and this is the one that I actually hope I end up giving birth in, just because it says make today count. And if that's not hilarious to you, I don't know. I did wear that one the day I gave birth. What the hell is. So I got told to bring t at least two. One for while I'm kind of doing my thing, and just in case you know, something gets dirty. The other one is because I'm going to be in a, I have a jacuzzi thing in the birthing room. So I'll be able to wear one while I'm in the jacuzzi and not feel very exposed. Yeah. This one, tie-dye, very Easter-esque. So I actually didn't wear either one of those in uh, the room to give birth. I wore the tank top I went to go get, went to the hospital in uh, for the jacuzzi. I don't remember what the heck I just said. Well, I didn't wear any of the long t-shirts to go into the jacuzzi. I wore the tank top that I wore to the hospital in the jacuzzi. It's huge. Um, it's a t-shirt, but it's, it's a giant ass t-shirt and it's huge and sleepy and I'll be able to pull this down and toss a baby on boob. It'll be great. And this one... If, if you know me, I have a slight caffeine addiction. <laughs> There's literally a cola on my couch um, over there that's mine. <laughs> less talky, more coffee. Is that a, this is fucking oh. cute. I like it. Ooh. Um, I don't know if they'll let me have coffee while I'm planning on giving birth to a child. That's not a happy face. A whole ass small being out of the womb. But if they do. Hello. This my, this my shirt. Um, yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. That's what's in my labor and delivery bag. It's very simple, because I know that they provide most stuff. Um, I'm not bringing any of my own diapers, because they provide diapers. Other than, of course, my human diapers. Baby diapers. Human diapers. Hopefully you give birth to a human. Um, but... My so I also had the stuff that Curtis packed. Um, I had a sheet that had all of my medications on it, um, and told people to call me by dad, and that I was male. Uh, and we brought a fan. Uh, so I could be fanned, which was really nice in the postpartum room because that was hot. And when I say hot, I mean hot. It was ridiculous how warm that room was. So, um, yeah, without that, yeah, I think I used everything in my labor bag. That was cool. All right. <laughs> Have a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, guys. Have a good one. Bye.